So, you know, we're playing with bands doing the same thing that we are, like, I mean, as far as, like, on the same level, you know, all the time, and it's, it's inspiring. So, it's nice to come down here, too, like, a place that you necessarily wouldn't think of would have such an awesome independent music festival, so... That's cool. That's cool for Hot Springs, man, and we're, we're happy to be a part of it. I never heard of it. Never. No. I heard of it. Like, just, I, I heard about, like, there's a name, Hot Springs. Like, Maybe the name. Maybe the name. It's definitely, like, a new experience, and I didn't know anything about it. And it's amazing, actually, this place. Yeah. It's um, very special. Yeah, it's... it's I feel very special <laughs> since we're here. Yeah, pe people are, like, chill here. They're, like, it's peace and it's cool, but it's... And very kind. Hi, we're Fenster, a band from Germany. We're Hi still you. here. Thank you. We're still in Hot Springs. We can't <laughs> leave. <laughs> this is our third show in two days, and we're just high on water and like the love of this town. We have, we have a big crush on you guys. You guys can come closer if you want. We're going to play some songs for you to kick off this great lineup tonight. This first song is called Spring Break. This is our eighth year. I never thought that it would go on uh, for so many years. He kind of threw that first V of E together in a matter of weeks. And it was just so stunning how much um, enthusiasm came from the locals here. We had no idea how many people would show up. So the first uh, years, we tried different locations with the V of E. Maxine's, of course, was the first place it was. It was a small little diving place with a stage about 10 by 10 and about 8 inches off the floor. We also held it at an old pocket theater, which was this old, like, abandoned theater with no chairs, which was right underneath the roller rink. We also had to split that year with Magnolia's. It was a restaurant, which is now the Gangster Museum, and it was big, it was brightly lit. And we did it at the Exchange one year. Moved around a little bit, but since 2006, it's it's been at Low Key Arts, which is a great venue to host it, for sure. Every year, you know, the VOV just picks up a little bit of steam uh, to where we are today, which is still uh, probably the most humble rock festival in the country and, uh, and the only underground rock festival in Arkansas. Yeah, put them up, put them up. Proud to be on this stage with uh, my bestest friends from Philadelphia who have been to the VOV now for five years. So give it up to Grandchildren! Every time I'm here, I wish I could spend more time. Here. We keep like planning a vacation to actually come here and like have fun and just enjoy being here. But for for now, it's just like passing through and playing shows. And Do things that we feel at home here. 
Yeah, we definitely feel at home here. We play here a lot. Artists, you know, visual artists, DJs, at least 300 bands, you know. Anyway, a lot of love has gone into this. So, in preparation for VOB 2012, I'm sanding the whole floor, and then I'm going to stand it. And this is a, a it's called Click Call, and we haven't played it live, like, ever. Every place that you play has had you know a thousand bands play that week, so you're just like another band that's playing. And here, it's like they really, really seem to appreciate every artist that comes oh. through. Oh, it's not easy keeping up with your imagination. The is good because you end up getting to check out bands you've never heard of or just a ton of different music genres. This is our second year printing for the festival of uh, the VOV hands and then also the, uh, the event festival shirt. It's always a lot of fun and a lot of people come out for it and the tacos are great. <laughs> Stoked that there are so many uh, kids here, younger, you know, young, younger generations, and it's it's very awesome. And I see a lot of kids with parents and everything like that, which I find amazing. You know what I mean? It's just sort of like what you want to see, just like kids just seeing music. A massage chair for the artists. Like I haven't been to a lot of festivals, but that's a big deal. Are you filming me getting a massage right now? Alley of the Vapors. Here we go. The people who run the show, the people who are volunteering, everyone's volunteering, and that's really cool. It's so much more communal. Like, it feels like everybody's there for each other. It's a whole town effort, which you don't see a lot. Jukebox Romantic, those are my boys. B.O.V. Without the volunteers, it'd be impossible. I think they're the key to us continuing on and keeping the energy going. I'm really thankful that we have a group of people who are willing to do everything from running the door to concession stand to sound help. We need some ears on the sound bed. It's our fourth time playing in Hot Springs. 
and every time we go out on the road, it's a stop. Like, yeah, we actually rerouted a tour last summer, so we just so through. we could come here. Here, everyone says hello. Everyone says thank you for playing, and we say thank you. It means a lot to us, and uh, it's not like any other place really. It's kind of you guys got something really special going on here. Thank you so much to everyone who put this on. It's a really, really amazing community down here. I'm really excited to be here, and everyone's been super nice. So thank you so much. local artist Michael Schaefer to paint seven paintings uh, commemorating seven years of the VOV. It was his idea, it was a van. And he didn't know what I was going to do with it, and I just kind of did the texture painting. Like this year, he asked me if I want to do it again, and I was like, yeah, I'm totally down. And he was talking about doing records, and I thought about it, I just didn't like it. And, I was like, and then I was like, it'd be cool to make tapes, where it's like bootleg like tapes in a sense. The idea of like, you know, some kid came here every year, recorded all these shows, you know, it's just kind of like a walk in memory lane kind of thing. When Michael was doing his piece, the support group, he just said, next year, it's going to be yours. Independent was a word that really stuck out to me, and that's because it is all independent music and art. She can tell I'm an only child Has her fingers wrapped around the next Every man, every woman, every girl People who are here to see the music are really here to see music and they're giving a lot back to everybody and it wasn't just our set, it was everybody tonight. So I don't know. I don't know if people in Hot Springs just really love music or it was just a certain kind of night or I'm not sure what the deal is.
VOV is not about size. The VOV is about it being a personal experience. So instead of growing the festival size, we decided to grow by doing other little events around the, around the town, like um, workshops and secret shows. The trail shows, which started during the seventh annual VOV, I think we only did two, and then this year we did one every single day. It rained, <laughs> it rained a lot. So I think we did three of them in the lobby of the Springs Hotel, which was our meeting point. Down in old head and road, flashing lightning in the sky. Springs Hotel is awesome. Never been here before. Uh, I thought it was great, and but I just kind of felt honored to be invited. BOV and Bill's awesome, and I'm born and raised in Hot Springs, Arkansas, so I feel like I'm representing. And there's a ritual smoke. Keeping my hand from being on. So, I'm still on New York City rock show time zone time, and you guys are in Hot Springs, Arkansas, Valley of the Vapors afternoon trail show time zone. So, I don't know what the exchange rate is between our mental states at the moment, but let's see what happens here. I've got some comic books for $2.50 and some CDs for 5 bucks and a little bit of other stuff that's a little more expensive. When I was a young man, I got married, it was fun. She was my one and only, and I was her only one. We ended in divorce court three years later, maybe four. I don't think I'll get married anymore. Cause it was funny the first time, it was funny the first time. It never the sound, the acoustics of the room were good. Every environment is totally different. There's, you know, that's part of the excitement of it. You just don't know what each day will bring. Now I'm an old man and my sight is getting dim. I've been around this whole world and I'm getting to the end. Some say it's okay cause we all just get reborn. I said thanks for the offer but I'm fine with being gone cause it was funny the first time it was. The first time it never will be funny again. Please don't repeat it, cause I really don't need it. This big joke is coming to an end. So we managed to just time the trail hike perfectly to coincide with the 10 minutes of rain that <laughs> uh, were happening today. I am ready to get up that mountain and get oh, yeah. wet and hear some music. <laughs> excited about the trail show, play some banjo, if it rains, it doesn't rain, we're going to find a way to get covered in nasty hot springs mud. I No rain, you know, nice sunshine, the insects aren't bad. I mean, this is, a, you know, you don't you get 10 days a year like this. This is perfect for this type of thing. So. I have two children, 13 and 15. They're very involved in music. And it's one of the few venues where they get to come down and they can hear live music. You know, most places that have this good of music, it's going to be in a bar or someplace like that. This way I can have my kids come out, give them a great bet, let them have a good time. You get a chance to experience this. You don't. You don't really know what you're missing. I oh, mean, it's good not play every show ever in a bar at three o'clock in the morning. You know, keeps you human. I guess. I'm not a criminal, but I'm friends with some. I got a 20 acres that I live on. I got a woman so stop pulling me. I ain't a redneck, but I sure know how to be. It's been amazing so far. 
because the the trek up to it, you know, it kind of like you're able to just take a walk through this beautiful state and you get a chance to like just kind of zone into it and then you come up and listen to some really a, a personal set, some great music, you know, it's, it's awesome. It's part of the reason I keep coming back, man, is all the mountains and the trees, it's so gorgeous here. And actually, this guy, Jack Toft, who's a rapper from uh, Buffalo, New York. Every, I've played a few shows with him in Buffalo when I've toured up there, and I love that guy. I think he's so awesome. I have his album. I always play it. Every time I'm on the road with people, I'm like, you got to hear this guy's album. So it's kind of a nice surprise. I just heard that he's playing here at 6. He's not listed on the official schedule, but he's playing in a barber shop or something. I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> then they probably wouldn't hold much food. If they did, I would not be able to get around too good. This club shop has been here since the 1920s, and Bill's a good friend of mine, and he wanted to place people like him to play, you know? Coming down the alleyway. It's my up, first time being here. Coming from New York. New York came from Buffalo, New York. Drove all through Arkansas. It was a really beautiful drive. It was the most refreshing thing that I've seen this whole tour. He was honest and he was excited about it. So thanks, Jack. <laughs> So far, I've only been here a little bit, but I'm super <laughs> just, excited. You just got into town. You'll be here a while. I might not leave. Liberal elite, first gay wedding at the Crown Zero Mars. Poor little redneck, victimized cracker. All these unfed liberal elites just attack you. They hate your way of life, they wanna make you gayer. Barack Hussein Obama's popping off Al Qaeda fundraisers. Television junkie, not no global warming. Sun, that be sunny, broad. Weather's just growing nice. Gay dudes are throwing rice. Put some money on the crazy bus. Get a rolling ride. Liberal elite, liberal elite. First gay wedding at the ground to robots. Germany. It's also cool that it's been spread out over Hot Springs. Like I went to Star Gallery and we got to look around all like all the local artists and you know the different things that they do. And then we got to enjoy a really cool German indie pop band.
went to the VOV website, you know, to see who was playing and uh, hit on the workshops. And, uh, a lot of them looked good, but this one really jumped out at me. And, uh, it looked like an opportunity that doesn't come very often. And also that Yuri was coming from the Netherlands to teach it, you know. Uh, and you don't know when he's coming back, if he's coming back. So uh, it just seemed like a real good investment in time and money to I officially made this, and it should be lots of fun. I'm gonna figure out what the hell I'm doing. I'm not busy with making nice pop tunes for, for big audiences. That's not my, not my dream. I'm, I'm, I'm working uh, to develop and to innovate new sound or new playing possibilities. I'm from the experimental noisy stuff, so I, my instruments are kind of scientific. I made this uh, uh, do-it-yourself kit from the Mood Swinger, and because it's a do-it-yourself kit, I call it the Home Swinger. And, Later on, I discovered that it means something else as well. So, but it has nothing to do with wide swapping or whatever. But um, yeah, <laughs> you learn some, sometimes things on, on Google. You know, we just had a quick rehearsal right before, so. The, the arrangement's pretty simple, but it really relies on everybody paying attention to each other. It was really cool to get to watch him set things in motion, because you realize that even, even very simple things require a structure, you know? And, and without the structure, then you don't have anything, you just have noise. And having so many instruments, it's like if people were trying to do stuff that was very complex, it would get lost anyway. So it's kind of, that's kind of interesting in itself. Most of the festivals I'm, I, I'm being invited is are the spring festivals and the autumn festivals. And in the summer you have the, the beer and chicken festivals, like, like binge drinking and eating chicken all day. And I think that's yeah, that's fun, but it's only entertainment and, and being and having a good party. And this this festival has, has a, a deeper layer, um, but the workshops and, uh, and that's that, that's what, what the good festivals are to me. They have to have something to add on top of the party. No hot springs. How are you doing? With the Black Bells, we're really happy to be here tonight. The Black Bells. Kind of into hearing the Black Bells tonight. The Black Bells. Valley of the Vapors. I love it. <laughs> We've been like rushing and like yeah. on the edge coming to Hot Springs. Now that we're here, we're just so relaxed. It's amazing. I don't know what it is. It was something in the air. Come here and then the crowd is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, into it and it's kind of it's kind of too good to be true. I'm yeah, kind of afraid. <laughs> is this place real? <laughs> we did it a honky tonk, his eyes crept to mine. He gave me lies, I gave him love. That was our trade. But in the end, and that was his mistake. And he died. Wanna be good again. Thank you guys.
Oh yeah, this one's for Drew. What's up, Drew? Working as promoter for the VOV since January, I started with Bill, and it was really cool because like we set up this music festival and I helped with it, which is so exciting because the music festival is actually what made me fall in love with Hot Springs three years ago when I first went to my first one. signed picture of whoever's job it is to get the food stuff. And Drew gave us an autographed picture of himself. He looks really good in this picture. Um, and um, yeah, and then we got a free burrito, which is good. This is awesome. being able to see the VOV and being able to see that I put all this work into it and seeing it go on and seeing it so great and seeing the reception that we get from everyone else, it makes me so excited for what happens. Drew gave me a picture of himself. It looks so good. It's actually my first time to come to it, but so far it's been great. Uh, it's, it's really neat. I didn't expect there to be so many international bands. It's been a lot of fun and it's definitely a worthwhile experience. I hope I uh, get to come back again. Three out of the five is our first time in the States. Like at all, and for Pond, it's the first time we've been here. It's been, everything's been blowing our minds, everything we see. see musicians come here especially from far away and fall in love with this town because it's a special town and we know it's a special town but when people come from Germany and France and you know Italy and all, all the other places bands are from tonight and all this week and they fall in love with this little town you know this crazy little town I love that. Now I live on a, a boat in Vancouver in the ocean but I can certainly put my boat in one of those lakes. <laughs> America has a, a lot of different cultures it's culturally very rich so. Fun for us to be here. I love that there's culture here for a small town that doesn't usually exist. And my whole thing of hot springs, I'm like, we've never had anything but killer shows here. A place like this exists, Valley of Vapors, to bring in people from all over the world to play here. In one night, we had a band from Italy, a band from New York, a band from LA, and we had people drive up from St. Louis to come and see a South Korean band that we had here yesterday. It brings us all together. She wants a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a So 
good to be here. This is the best place in the whole damn world to play at. I'll tell it to anybody who'll listen. BLV, I, this will, I think it's my, uh, this is my fourth year in a row. I would play here every year, no matter what. Love and home, boys. Thanks, Michael. This is like home. Yeah, we were coming into town. I was like, it feels like we're coming home. People genuinely care about, or about like music and art in a way that I haven't seen anywhere else. And like we've played, you know, all over the country in all kinds of different places and cities. And this is this is the best to me. She can't say. It's <laughs> pretty fun to uh, get, get, a, get a view of this guy. Justin Kinkle Schuster is a Libra. He enjoys long walks on the beach. I'm enjoying hearing Billy's observations. Oh, I'm observant. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of humans that live here, so we're really hitting our target audience. Pictures of my tacos, man. <laughs> These food magazines. I'm not getting any money out of this food magazine <laughs> photography you're working on. I paid for it. <laughs> I own get the right. I own the rights get to those here. tacos. <laughs> you like you buy your own tacos and then you can take a picture of it. <laughs> Flush. <laughs> the words all the same, but the melodies have changed somehow. They have wasted their time. <laughs> 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 uh, the first year it was a extraordinary idea. We did it in the bathroom over there. We did a bathroom photo, and after that, it turned into a porta potty photo. Thanks so much to Bill and Shay and everyone at VOV for being so kind and so generous. There's not enough wonderful things I can say about uh, Hot Springs and VOV, and uh, that will have to suffice. <laughs>